donate a million dollars to Howard University. And also, also I'm going to drop another million dollars on Deion Sanders and Jackson State because we should play for us. As usual, people, when everybody goes right, you can count on Coach Simmons to go left. Good morning. Now we've seen Puffy, Sean Combs, Diddy, P. Diddy, Papa Diddy, that boy, that man, bad boy. <laughs> Went on stage last night. He may have been a little inebriated, but he did announce that, hey, he's not only getting a million dollars to Howard University, his alma mater, but he's also going to give a million dollars to Deion Sanders and Jackson State football. And once he did that, you know, a lot of people on Twitter, instead of saying, oh, thank you, thank you, good, we needed that, appreciate it. Everybody lost their mind. <laughs> the hate was real. The hate was out there. A lot of SC State people came out there saying, hey, we beat Jackson State in, in the Celebration Bowl. The money should go to us. You get it? This is not about that, man. This is not about that. See, that's the way people are going to go at this. You're going to have somebody say, well, SC State went ahead and beat Jackson State. They should get the money. That's not even where I'm going to go. Not happening. What I'm going to is the very last part of what he said. About black people should play for black people. When I first started this channel, before this whole thing of HBCU Go, HBCU Stay, HBCU League Plus, HBCU League Minus, HBCU App, Top of App, Bottom App, whatever the hell it was, I had mentioned that we need to go to have multiple streams of football, of content. And one of them was considerably Revolt TV. Now, I wasn't talking about it being a main, out, a main outlet, but Revolt TV is owned by a black man. Isn't that what everybody wants? Revolt TV is nationally syndicated. Does have apps. You can put content on there. As a matter of fact, they have one of their biggest shows is this one right here. Thanks. There was a standout team for the judges that had just an amazing presentation, and we're going to give a scholarship of $2,500 each to the team from Spelman. <laughs> and then we decided that because you guys were so amazing, for everybody that wasn't on one of the winning teams, we're going to give each of you a $1,000 scholarship. Wow. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you. So with that being said, I mean, honestly speaking, Revolt will be the best option to have a television outlet. Because we know BET is not going to give you anything besides Baby Boy and Actually, that's it. I think that's the baby boy station right now. But looking at Revolt Television, the amount of uh, programming on there, different programming, black programming, is kind of big. Now, I do want you to understand. Um, when it comes time to renegotiate contracts, all of these TV studios... All of these networks are going to be fighting 
over HBCU content. It is not, and I mean it is not time right now to lock up for a multi-year agreement. Wait until the ESPN deals are uh, expire. If you can negotiate them while you're doing it, or you can go for a secondary. We can definitely do a secondary. But when it comes to putting everything in the one basket, Diddy is telling you, don't do it. It's Coach Simmons, and we're looking at you, Diddy. Papa Diddy, Puff Daddy, Diddy Pop. <laughs> Maybe it's time to put some HBCU content, some Battle of the Bands. Maybe it's time to put some basketball, women's basketball, volleyball, tennis, football on revolt. Why not? Coach Simmons and I am. Ouch.